What's going on guys, my name is Kai Tech Academics and today I'm going to show you how to download 7-zip onto your Windows 10 PC. So the first thing you want to do is go to your web browser and you want to type in 7-zip. Uh, I spelt it wrong there but it will be the first link at the top. In fact no, if we just type in 7-zip, um, usually it says 7-zip forward slash org slash download but in this case it's here so we're going to click on that and there will be a link in the website in the description anyway and it's going to lead you to a website that looks like this and it's going to list different versions so you've got the 16.4 and we've got the 18 beta so you always want to really download the latest version and it's going to come up with what type of installer you want and what uh, operating system you're on uh, so in this case I want the .exe and it's for my windows and obviously really didn't tell her AMD so I'm going to click download and save Okay, so you then want to run it and it's going to ask you for administration permission. You then want to click yes and it's just going to come up with a little text box like this with the installation path. You want to click install, it takes two seconds, click close and then 7-zip will be fully installed on your computer. So to find out it's actually installed, you then want to create, you want to right click, click on new and then you want to create a folder. Right click on the folder and it should say 7-zip here. When you hover over it, come up with all these lists, um, come up with a list, add to archive, uh, click OK, and then it will create a 7-zip, um, it will create a 7-zip archive. Now I use WinRAR, so this is automatically turned into a WinRAR file, uh, I wasn't expecting this myself, but like I said, I've got 7-zip and WinRAR uninstalled. If you want to find out how to uninstall a program, just watch my video and I'll show you how to do that. But that's everything, it's as easy as that. If this was useful, please leave a like and if you do have any questions or comments, just leave them below and I'll reply to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.